I'm James Sparkus, and this is a special message that I need to give to all of you. I am ready to publish this as soon as this video is uploaded to YouTube, and I will put the link over on our Facebook as well. But in Malachi 3.10, it says, Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in mine house. Give me a moment, I'll get it on screen. Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in mine house, and prove me now herewith, saith the Lord of hosts. If I will not open you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing, that there shall not be room enough to receive it. That's Malachi 3.10 in the King James Version. <coughs> Let's face it. Everyone has bills. Even the church of today. Between the electric bill, internet for worldwide ministry, Water, sewer, trash, natural gas. I could list them all off all day long. The church of today has obligations as we all as believers must be mindful of. Over the last couple of years, I've only given the methods of sending tithes and offerings to our ministry on the broadcast for, and I did say two years. We're just about to three years. I have not withheld the message when I have been able to give the message. Now, yes, I've lost my voice. I had a major infection in November 2021, another infection early in 2021 where I had surgery and ended up in the hospital a few days. And the last couple of months, well, the last month, I've even given at least one or two sermons while my voice was combating strep throat. Now, if I wasn't able to speak, I didn't speak. But if I thought I was able to speak, I spoke. And I spoke the Word of God. Because that work ethic is in me to do what the Lord says. You know, Dr. Charles Stanley said it best, Obey God and leave all consequences to Him. That is what I've been trying to do ever since 2005 when I started this ministry. We are, by this time in 2025, we're going to celebrate two decades since I was called into the ministry and about three decades the following year of me being saved. But I am approaching to you today through this blog entry on our WordPress and through video on YouTube, and we'll combine all of those for Facebook, about our storehouse for the Lord. I'm going to be completely honest with you. As I approach you today, the church home is also our residence, and we are very much in a bind. 
we need to pay about $65 for this month. A late fee for last month was assessed. We have two months worth of the power bill coming soon, roughly about $250 flat rate each month. And a little under $100 for water, sewer, and trash. When I lost my voice in that battle with strep throat, I misunderstood the attendance policy. and knew that I would accrue absences that would cause me literally to be out of the job within a week or two time. I just today got a job. It will be paying a little bit more per hour than the $14 that I've been getting, that's a good thing. The bad news is it will not start until July 7th with day one of training. July 6th for HR. And a tech check for their computer system to come on July 3rd. Now, Lisa and I, both of us know, vacations are happening. There are some transitioning. One job to another and retirements happen. We get that. The other thing that we get and that we also know is our equipment ages. Yeah, we got a good USB mic that I'm speaking to you through. We also have a good computer system with two monitors, the camcorder in front of us, and the other things that we know um, that we have. Cords become fray, computers wear out, cameras wear out, battery blocks need replacing, and many, many other things take place. Yet the bills keep coming. I am praying in Jesus' name. Would you please consider laying some of the treasure that you have in the ministry that has helped around the world lately. It warms my heart to hear and see where some people are seeing this message in English. I can tell you there is a comment still on YouTube on one of my sermons that a person from Kyrgyzstan spoke to us. I replied both in English and in the native language of Kyrgyzstan using Google Translate. I pray for their blessing. I thank them for watching. But there are others from near and far that have viewed my sermons. I post them on Facebook now. Facebook.com forward slash James Barkus Ministries. YouTube.com forward slash JBM at JBMN Walk in the Vineyard. Now, I will put those up momentarily. But my friends, how can this ministry continue? If We are out of a home, out of power, out of internet, what have you. I don't 
pay myself to preach. I don't pay myself to do this. I have been giving this and of my own equipment that I purchased out of assets that I've acquired over the years and knowledge from my experience in broadcasting the technical and the presentation style to put this on the air even though it's on YouTube it is able it is formatted for television as well so I ask you would you please please prayerfully consider helping helping our ministry there's our YouTube link on screen right now If you'd like to help, send your check or money order to James Barkus Ministries, P.O. Box 762, Manchester, Georgia, 31816. If you have Bibles for our link to the Word program, I'd like for you to ship those, UPS, FedEx, hand-delivered, or USPS to James Barkus Ministries, 302 West 3rd Street, Manchester, Georgia, 31816-1636. I do want to remind you, as I've done in the broadcast, I'm doing so in this special message as well. If you send something, United States Postal Service, please note, all of our stuff sent through the United States Postal Service would in fact be forwarded to the post office and held there until we get to the post office when we know that it's there and pick it up. And there are, there are our websites. I, I will be up front. I've been doing this because God called me to preach this message. And our mission has not changed but my plea right now is that we need help and I ask you would you please consider giving that help jamesbarkusministries.weebly.com is our main website jamesbarkusministries.wordpress.com is our wordpress blog where the blog will be posted shortly Facebook.com forward slash James Barkus Ministries. That's our Facebook presence. And then YouTube. YouTube.com forward slash at JBMN Walk in the Vineyard. If you have prayer requests, testimonies, please do send those to both email addresses. That's jbmprayer at live.com or Lisa James Barkus at gmail.com. My wife is part of this ministry. And we pray over the requests given to us. 
If you would like to book us for a special event, love offerings are always accepted. JBM World HQ at live.com and Lisa James Barkus at gmail.com. Just be sure to differentiate between prayer request testimonies and special events on there. Now, I am closing by giving basically a dire warning. I may have to approach the Lord and ask Him if we cannot get help in this realm, where are we going to get the help from? We know He helps. But it takes other like-minded sold out, Bible-believing Christians to help work with this ministry as well. I said a long time ago to the Lord, I can't do this alone. He gave me a great help me in the form of my wife, Lisa. And I know I can rely on the Lord Jesus Christ. But if it has to get to where I need to keep a roof over my head. I will have to change some things around. I may have to do a lot more pre-taping of services and put them up when I can. If our power gets cut off, if our water gets cut off or what have you, we may have to change something. If our internet gets cut off, that's it. Number one, there would be no job, and number two, there would be no ministry. I know you hear it from preachers a lot saying, we experienced a shortfall. Well, I'm given my time, my effort, and my money, blood, sweat, tears, and whatever to this ministry as well. And honestly, one person, it is daunting to expect one person or two people to carry a mission. If there's no response, I will take that to mean that it is not my time to preach and teach the Word. And pray to the Lord, what would He have me to do? Love offering of any size will do. 
Just be sure and send your check or money order to the address I gave earlier in this video. And I'll put the slide up on blog post as well. Every time we place a new service up on YouTube, we pray that it reaches someone. I pray this message, once it gets up there to YouTube, reaches someone to say, Hey, I've benefited from this service. I've benefited from his teaching directly from the Word of God. I want to help. We need it. Churches are closing their doors because they're not getting enough to keep the doors open. And I'm praying this ministry does not become the next one to fall victim to apathy. I'm done my absolute best to preach and teach the word exactly from the Bible. In fact, I have it open to Malachi 3 and 10. Just to review, bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse that there may be meat in mine house, saith the Lord of hosts. If I will not open you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing, that there shall not be room enough to receive it. And verse 11, I will rebuke the devourers for your sake, and he shall not destroy the fruits of your ground, neither shall your vine cast her fruit before the time in the field, saith the Lord of hosts. Verse 12, And all nations shall call you blessed, for ye shall be a delightsome land, saith the Lord of hosts. Your words have been stout against me, saith the Lord, in verse 13. Yet ye say, What have we spoken so much against thee? Verse 14, Ye have said, It is vain to serve God, and what profit is it that we have kept his ordinance, and that we have walked mournfully before the Lord of hosts, and now we call the proud happy? Ye, they that work wickedness are set up. Ye, they that tempt God are even delivered. Then they that feared the Lord spake often one to another. And the Lord hearkened and heard it, and a book of remembrance was written before him for them that feared the Lord and that thought upon his name. And they shall be mine, saith the Lord of hosts, in that day when I make up my jewels, I will spare them, as a man spareth his own son that serveth him. Then shall ye return and discern between righteous and the wicked, between him that serveth God and him that serveth not. That was Malachi 3, chapter 10, uh, chapter 3, verse 10, to the end of the chapter. I pray you'll help us out. I pray you will take up and give an offering to this ministry.
I know I am putting it out there. And I pray in Jesus' name you'll help us out. On behalf of my wife Lisa and myself, may God richly bless you and keep you. Again, send your check or money order to James Barkus Ministries, Box 762, Manchester, Georgia, 31816. If you got Bibles to clear and dust, you can send those by UPS, FedEx, hand delivered, or United States Postal Service to James Barkus Ministries, 302 West 3rd Street, Manchester, Georgia, 31816-1636. We thank you so much for watching this special broadcast. May God richly bless you and keep you. And we will begin doing messages Saturday at 7 p.m. God bless you.